It has been called the jewel of the mountains, gem of the Jersey Hills, and honey waters of many coves. It is one of New Jersey's greatest resources. Nine miles long and some 2,600 acres, it is the state's largest lake. Once a great Northeast resort with some 40 hotels, two amusement parks, bars, and entertainment for every taste. Today it is almost completely residential with lakeside restaurants and some great recreational opportunities. However, 2019 brought a most unwanted phenomenon to Lake Hopatcong, a near lake-wide algae bloom. While small algae blooms are not uncommon late in the season at Lake Hopatcong, never has the lake experienced anything like this. The bloom prompted a lake-wide swimming advisory. The advisory remained in effect for many weeks before the state started to lift the advisory by lake location. Lake Opakong is a community of passionate people, uh, people who care. It's, it's still the vibrant place it's always been with a community that's really rallying and we're going to come out of this better than ever. It's a lovely place that it's always been. We've had this unfortunate incident now which has had a really negative effect on the area. The term HAB, um, it's an acronym for harmful algal blooms. Uh, so very frequently you'll hear HAB, and that's what it refers to. Um, and even hearing HAB doesn't necessarily mean that it has cyanotoxins associated with it. It, it refers to the fact that it might have cyanotoxins. So, but you can recreate, you can boat on the lake uh, with no problems. The cyanotoxins are not airborne. But most importantly, our businesses are getting killed. They're getting crushed because of the lack of people coming to the lake. And I think we should be very aggressive on uh, accomplishing the methodology that will help our lake immediately. The state has to allow us to use the technology to do this. The science is there, we have the science for short-term mitigation, and we certainly have the ability for long-term planning. The Lake Hopatcong Foundation, Lake Hopatcong Commission, local officials, and technical experts are examining an extensive and varied list of both short and long-term measures. Such actions as improved stormwater management, better maintenance of existing septic systems and their replacement with sewers, more efficient methods to address weed growth, dredging of selected areas of the lake, implementation of projects to bring more oxygen into the lake, and a plan for goose management are all seen as parts of a comprehensive plan to ensure we eradicate harmful algal blooms at Lake Hopakong. These actions will drastically remove the nutrients which feed blooms and make the lake a far less friendly environment for an algal bloom to occur. What I want to see is some uh, general recognition that the way we're going to combat these algal blooms is really in a collective uh, group. Homeowners can do all kinds of things to try to help uh, combat the inflow of nutrients into the lake. They can look at their own property and decide to plant a rain garden. They can work with their communities to plant a rain garden. They can plant riparian buffers near the water. Uh, take a look, make sure that if you're using fertilizer, it's the most lake-friendly fertilizer there is. And um, and just get together with your community. Push your, push your local municipalities to make sure that stormwater uh, devices are being maintained. And we're all working together to make sure the lake is as healthy as it can be. It is only through a broad range of actions that we can really attack the problem. However, the community is all in. We have a boat on the lake. We love going out on the lake. And we've been on the, out on the lake since the bloom was announced uh, several times. There is no restriction on boating, and I think that message got lost. I think the other thing that I'd like to stress is that anyone who says that there's some permanent damage to the lake as a result of the bloom, that's simply not true. So um, I encourage people to Go to the lake, patronize the businesses at the lake, boat at the lake, um, and um, enjoy themselves. As the Mayor Jefferson Township, I want to encourage all of our uh, tourists and residents to please utilize the lake. We are open for business. Uh, we still have a beautiful lake here. We have plenty of summer left. We're selling gas. We're still doing service. So uh, Lake of Pacton is still open. The restaurants are open. We're open. So uh, come on down and use it. Lake Opatcom, all four towns are open for business. We'd love to have you come out, rent a boat, take your boat out on the lake, visit our restaurants, and just enjoy the beauty of this great lake. Thank you. Lake Opatcom is our treasure and we will not let her down. We will take the measures necessary to not just preserve the lake we know, but to improve it. Join us as we ensure Lake Opatcom will be the jewel of the mountains for now and forever.